Hi, today is a very special day in the dojo. It is Palm Sunday. Something very special happened on this day, this exact day, more than 2,000 years ago. It happened to the ultimate fruit ninja, Jesus. The Bible says that he is king over all kings and the Lord over all lords. On this day, the people recognized that Jesus was special. The reason he was special is because he was different. You might be saying, of course Jesus was different. He is God. Jesus is 100% God. That's correct. But he was also 100% man. He was God in a body, Emmanuel, God with us. He came to experience life as a human being and to show us how to live a life at 100%. God gave us emotions, but the Bible says that we control our emotions, not the other way around. These are the fruits of the Spirit, and they are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Jesus showed all of these emotions in his life and showed us how to maximize our emotions and please God at the same time. Yell out slice when you see a fruit of the Spirit come up from the last five weeks. Great job! Let's hop over to our dojo and find out what the next fruit will be. Jesus is a king, a king over all kings. He doesn't have to be humble or gentle, but he chose to be gentle with people. He chose gentleness because gentle people are inclusive. This word means that they are humble, meek, inviting, warm, and soft. There are two types of coaches in the world, those who yell and those who talk. Both coaches want you to do the right thing, but their approach is different. A coach that yells when you do something wrong wants you to do what is right. He's leading with his voice. A coach that talks with you gets down at your level and invites you to do what is right. He leads with his heart. As we've seen with Jesus, there is a time for both of these ways of coaching, but a gentle coach is the one that gets down on your level and invites you to do what is right. Jesus chose gentleness most of the time because God does not want anyone to miss a chance to go to heaven and be a part of his family. If you don't choose to be a part of God's family, you won't get to go to heaven. You will be separated from God forever. The Bible calls that hell. It is not God's wish that anyone goes there, but the choice is up to you and to me. Jesus didn't come into the world and start yelling. He led with his heart. One day, Jesus was walking through town and saw a man climbing a tree just to get a look at him. His name was Zacchaeus, and he was a tax collector and a thief. He stole from people while doing his job. Jesus saw him and said, Zacchaeus, come down. I'm eating at your house tonight. The crowd was shocked. Jesus would eat with a tax collector and a thief? At the dinner, Jesus got down on his level and invited him to do what was right. When Zacchaeus left the dinner, he changed completely. He began to follow Jesus and said, I will give half of my stuff to the poor, and if I have stolen from you, I will pay back four times what I stole. Jesus was thrilled because he came to seek and save those people like Zacchaeus. There was a promise made to the people of Israel that their king would ride into town. In fact, the book of Daniel predicts the exact day that Israel's king would ride in. The people were ready. Israel was stuck under the rule of the Romans, and they were ready for the king to ride in and free them. 
Jesus rode into town that day, and the people yelled, Hosanna, and waved palm branches. They laid their coats down before him as Jesus and his steed rode into town. The animal he rode was the colt, or son, of a female donkey. Jesus chose this animal on purpose. He sent his disciples, his followers, to go find this exact animal. He did it to send a message. If the king rode in on a horse, it showed that he was ready for war. If the king rode in on a donkey, it showed he was ready for peace. In fact, Zechariah 9, 9 made this promise. Rejoice, O people of Zion! Shout in triumph, O people of Jerusalem! Look, your king is coming to you! He is righteous and victorious, yet he is humble, riding on a donkey, riding on a donkey's colt. He came humbly, meekly, gently. The same invitation that he made to Zacchaeus, he was making to everyone in that crowd. Come, follow me. That's the same invitation he is making to you. He is doing it gently and is inviting you to do what is right and follow him. When we act in the same gentleness, people follow. Choose gentleness and you will find your friends, your family, and the people around you saying, how can I be more like that? We have to decide to be gentle. Jesus decided to ride in on a donkey. Jesus decided to eat with Zacchaeus rather than yell at him for doing the wrong things he'd done. We have to decide to be gentle. Lesson eight, fruit ninjas decide to be gentle. Kia! It takes strength to be gentle. It's easy to yell, but you need courage to be gentle. God can help us with that. The Bible says that when we are connected to Jesus, we will see the fruits of gentleness coming out of us. Jesus is the vine, and we are the branches. If you are already a part of God's family and are here today, then we should be like the crowd that yelled, Hosanna. That's a word that means glory to God in the highest. We should praise Jesus each and every day because he is awesome, amazing, and gentle. He's brought us into his family. We should remember that Jesus treated us gently and treat others the same way. But if you are here and you haven't made that decision, then Jesus is gently calling you to join his family. Will you make that decision? I hope you do. Then you can be Fruit Ninjas too. See you later. Oh, hey. Make sure you're here next week to see a real-life fruit ninja slice fruit out of the air!